So I've got 12, actually, no, I've got 13 pairs of Gucci shoes to show you. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a collection video for you. I know these videos are highly requested and I love filming them for you guys. So I hope you enjoy my entire Gucci shoe collection. I was actually surprised how many Gucci shoes I have, but I have acquired all these shoes over quite a number of years. To my channel, welcome, welcome. My name is Mel and if you like collection videos, Please give this video a thumbs up and just would love to have you guys back. And for those of you that have been following me for a while, you may not know this, but a fun fact is that I actually used to be a shoe and handbag buyer for many years. So that's not to excuse anything, but I absolutely love shoes. So let's get straight into this video. So the best way I think to do this is I'm going to start off with my oldest pair of Gucci shoes and then work my way up to the newest ones that I've acquired. I'm going to tell you just a little bit about each shoe. I'm going to try them on and most importantly, I'm going to tell you if they're comfortable or not. So let's start with the first one. The first pair of shoes are these brown pointed kitten heels. As you can see, these were probably, these are probably about 13 years old. I can't remember exact, the exact date, but I remember going into the store, falling in love with them because I just loved how, see how the sole is sort of pointed and people think, oh my gosh, that's so dated. I don't mind. I actually think it's a feature of the shoe and you can tell it's older because the logo, as you can see here, is quite old. But nonetheless, I still wear these and these are extremely comfortable. One thing that I absolutely love about these shoes and why they still look amazing for 13 years is it's actually got like a rubber sole just on this bit. So it doesn't, it wears so, so well. So that is my first pair. Next up are these ballet flats. And these are the Gucci floral ballet flats. And one thing Gucci's really known for is florals throughout the years. It might not be this exact floral print, but they always have some sort of floral. Right now, they've got the beautiful blooms, which you can still see in their scarves and their bags and everything. And I just thought these shoes were so pretty. So I bought these from eBay probably about 11 or 12 years ago. I'm not really a ballet flat sort of person, but... It's floral. I'm a sucker for florals. Secondly, it's got this cute bamboo detail. Well, it's actually the horse bit and the bamboo, which is two iconic features of Gucci. So that was like a tick tick. And I thought it's just too pretty to pass up. And the price was amazing. And as you can see from me wearing them, they are super cute on, even though I'm not a ballet sort of person these are pretty comfortable in my opinion usually i don't find ballet flats comfortable i have no idea why and i don't own that many ballet flats but this is an exception and i just think they are just so pretty so the next couple of shoes are ones i picked up probably about six seven years ago on a trip to italy it was in this place called The Mall, which is this amazing designer outlet sort of center. If you guys are going to Italy and you're going to Florence, it's outside of Florence, but it is amazing. I think it was like one of the best shopping days of my life. But anyway, I picked up these two pairs. The first being this black pair here of heels. And what I loved about this, besides the price, guys, I think for both these pairs, I paid under 100 euro for them this pair i loved because i just love those studs look at those bold studs at the front strap of the shoe at the back strap of the shoe and even though it's got this ankle strap i don't think it kind of cuts you off because it is quite thin and because it's got quite a chunky heel it is pretty comfortable as well so i've got a lot of wear out of these shoes as you can see here but yes so these are my first bargain buy the second pair are these closed toed pumps and to these days I think like this is probably one of my most worn designer shoes. Why did I love this? I love the accents of tortoiseshell along the little bit of the toe cap here and also the heel counter and on the heel. I just love it. 
It's a really good sort of mid sort of height shoe. They're super comfortable. I wear these to work. I wear these with jeans and with patent, they're super durable. These are just like super, super comfortable. Love them. Next up is a gift from Hubby and they are these orange suede pumps. And this is probably about six years ago. They're very, very plain, a really good sort of mid heel height. There is, you probably can't see it, but there's a little baby GG logo right at the back of the shoe, which I thought was a very cute touch. It's just a rounded toe, super comfortable. When he first gave it to me, I was like, oh, orange, but you know what? I've actually really enjoyed wearing these and I've worn them to work quite a bit too. And it's just a little bit of a pop of color. If I'm wearing a really neutral outfit or all black, these just really pop on my feet. And yes, comfort level, very good too. Next up are these patent white horse bit sandals. And these ones we actually picked up from an auction a few years ago. I don't remember how many years, definitely less than five years ago, but they were pretty much brand new condition. I got them for a super good price. I love auctions by the way. So just a little tip guys, if there are any sort of like auction houses around you, sometimes they have like, they sell designer bags or shoes and accessories definitely do check them out because you can get some really good deals there so i picked these up and yeah they're an off-white sort of color with the gold horse bit detail as i mentioned this is very iconic gucci they are super high though as you can see so i wouldn't say these are that comfortable but they're not uncomfortable either but you know obviously i can't go shopping all day in these as you can see it's about 10 probably more centimeters in height but because it's got the thick block heel they are pretty comfortable for something that height so i really do enjoy wearing these with dresses and sometimes if i just need that little extra height and you know how i was saying i'm not really a flats kind of person and i don't suit ballet flats but i have found like for me the perfect loafer and it is none other than these Gucci Jordan shoes. All the other ones that I've mentioned, because they're old, I can't really link them in, but these ones I'm gonna link in for you guys. I don't think that they have silver anymore, but I love these so much that I am going to get them in black. Even in my wishlist video, I mentioned these shoes. They are so comfortable. I got silver because I just love metallics. And this honestly has worn really well. I think the silver with the contrasting gold uh, metalwork detail there is just gorgeous. I brought these along with me when I went with my bestie to Korea. If you haven't checked out those vlogs, I will link them above as well. I walked all day in them. They're super comfortable. They just make your foot look not too wide. You know how sometimes loafers can make your feet look really wide? As you can see from me wearing it, it just, it doesn't. It just looks really elegant and they're comfortable and there are a lot of colors. So yes, these ones here, which I picked up, I think early last year, are like a definite must. And I reckon you guys need to try these out. And the next two are ones I actually did unbox and was one of my first videos. And if you were interested, I will link that above as well. But it was my surprise Gucci haul when Gucci had sales. So sad Gucci don't have sales anymore, but I don't blame them because they've just been so successful. But these two I did pick up on sale. And the first pair being these classic black peep toe pumps, as you can see. And they've got the sort of like embossed GG all around. I'm just gonna emboss GG all around the shoe there. But I'm so sad. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's like, you know, when this goes into like a little ditch or something when you're walking and a bit of leather got caught. So it's like wrecked there, which I was like, no. <laughs> when it happened but i'm gonna go to the cobbler and hopefully they can you know help that a bit these are very comfortable can't really go wrong with a classic black peep toe pump plus they were 40 percent off or something when i picked these up so on sale classic can't go wrong so next up are these beautiful tan classic sandals i picked these up also for about 
I can't remember if it was 40 or 50% off. And if I had seen these in another color, I so would have bought them because I can't tell you how much I have worn these babies. They're classic, they're tan, they go with everything. The horse bit detail, I think you're seeing a pattern here. I've worn them so much that I'm not sure if you can see it's, yeah, you can kind of tell it's sort of lifted along the heel because yeah, I've worn them a lot. They've been rained on and it's been fine. Nothing so far, just need to get the sock sort of glued down. Because I have worn these so much and I love the block heel, I saw something similar in Gucci, which is the Marmont range now. I'll put a picture up here. It comes in quite a few number of colors. One of my friends has one and she just raved on about it. So I'm like, yep, I think a black pair is going to be my next purchase. But if I see anything similar, guys, I will link these in because yeah, these are one of my most worn shoes. So the next two pairs are ones that I picked up last year in June when I was over in Europe. And this was from Bista Village. For those of you traveling to London as well, I do think Bista Village is worth a visit. We found, I think it's very hit and miss. It depends on the stock, but we found it really good. So the first pair is this colorful pair of Gucci's. Uh, I have to admit, I haven't worn them, but that's not to say I'm not gonna wear them. I just haven't worn them yet. I picked these up for such a good price. I can't remember the exact price. I did do a video also showing this big haul when I was in Europe. I will link that up there if you were interested in checking that out. But yeah, they were such a good price. I thought they were really different with all these kind of colored jewels. They're surprisingly for the height, as I said, because that's like more than 10 centimeters. They're not too bad comfort wise, but not a shopping shoe. But I just like all the details on them. The second pair that I picked up from Vista Village as well are these Silver Beauties. They are super high. And why did I pick these up? Well, they were such a good price. And this beautiful heel, the bamboo heel, I'm just gonna come up a little bit closer. But these are not uh, the most comfortable shoes. I knew that when I bought them. They're very thin, they're very high but they look really nice on. And I just, I'm a, I'm a sucker for the bamboo as well. So silver bamboo heels, not an everyday shoe, but they're just so pretty. And they has got a little sort of ankle strap there. So these beautiful, amazing Princetown Mills are next. I did also unbox this on my channel late last year, I believe. And I remember I saw them, they went online, I bought them and then they, didn't have any more. And then I've never seen Australia have them all in the stores as well. And from what I know, they've sold out. And then later on, they did release like mule versions and heel versions, but the Prince Towns, which I never had tried on, I thought, no, everyone says they're so comfortable. I'm just gonna get them. I fell in love with this beautiful jacquard material. I just have to show you guys, isn't that just amazing? And I've got a confession. Yes, they are perfectly clean, unworn because I haven't worn them. And that's not because I don't love the design. I don't know what's wrong with my foot. Well, everyone's like, oh my gosh, Mel, you're gonna love them. I've got these, my friends have them. They feel like slippers. I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm getting them. I don't need to try them. And I so wanted to make it work that I just, I've just, I've only worn them on carpet at home. I've just tried to wear them. I'm thinking, oh, maybe they'll just kind of stretch out or something. I don't know if it's because I've got a high instep on my foot, then obviously it was over the time so I couldn't return them. So guys, I am going to be selling these. It's only taken me almost a year uh, of thinking about it because I love them so much. But I think I'm going to sell these and honestly put the money towards the Jordan shoes, which were the loafers I talked to you about, and just get the black pair. So if you guys love the Princetown and you love these shoes because they are sold out, I will be selling these for less than retail. I'm going to put the price and if you were interested, just email me at askmelinmelbourne at gmail.com. For those of you that are interested in Australia, the price includes shipping. But for, for any of you guys that are overseas, I will only charge what it costs me. I'm not here to rip you guys off with shipping costs. And payment will be through PayPal friends and family. But if you want to invoice, that's fine too. I just have to add, you know, a certain percentage on because that's just PayPal fees. Anyway, I love these. I'm so sad. I just look at them and I'm like, 
my friends are like, just sell them already. And I'm like, I love them. Maybe I can make them work, but it just doesn't work. So I'm just going to put that money towards the Jordan. So yes, if you were interested in these, uh, just email me. And the lucky last number 13 are these vibrant Kelly Green Gucci Marmont uh, mules. And these are so comfortable. I bought these in winter, so that's why I haven't worn them. I do plan to wear them now, now that Melbourne's weather is finally warming up. And I did try the closed toe versions. They're really cute as well. If I do find this, I will link it below. But I Pretty sure I saw like the black and another color available. If not, I'm going to link up the closed toe versions because they're really, really comfortable as well. Why did I buy them? I just love the color and I don't own green shoes and I thought it would be a bit of fun. And plus they were really comfortable. So those are my last pair of shoes. So I hope you enjoyed my Gucci shoe collection video and me trying little mod shots and telling you just a little bit about each shoe and if they were comfortable. Let me know for future shoe or bag collection videos if there's any sort of thing you want me to cover because honestly guys, I'm doing these videos for you so I really appreciate all your feedback. So have a wonderful day or night and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.